So let's say we wanted to do a little bit more of a complex removal, something like remove 15. So just like a normal binary search tree, the first thing we do in a removal process is locate our 15, locate our, our position in, and then we need to find, so locate in, and then find my in order predecessor. Successor would also work if in my case I, I don't have any left children. So I would find that in order prede predecessor, like always, that's the largest number smaller than n. So in my case we see that it is 6. So I replace n with predecessor. Now one of the key things that I'll point out here is when I do this replace, I only replace the number. I do not actually replace the color. Notice how n is a black node, but 6, our in order predecessor, is a red node. That's perfectly fine. We would still come in and we would, uh, let's see, the best way to kind of clear this up, I would get rid of the 15 just like I would here. There we are. And I'd simply change it to a 6. Now, since we've gone through and done this, since this is a red node, if the uh, predecessor was a red node, you are done. So once I've removed that red node from the entire foray, since you notice I happen to be uh, a six in, uh, sorry, I'm a black node in this situation. Uh, if I follow sort of my, my black depth, one, two, it happens to also have a black null node here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So every path has the same number of black nodes in it.